take a minute and share with you one of the questions that we get asked all the time for our potential clients. My name is Heather Roberts and I am the co-founder and COO of RSG Sales. We help uh, brands grow their e-commerce sales channel through account management and e-commerce account training. The question we've been getting a lot recently is how do you set the retail price on a marketplace versus a direct supplier relationship? For the sake of this conversation, we're going to say the marketplace is Amazon and the direct supplier relationship is with Wayfair. Brands are traditionally selling to Amazon in the marketplace as a third party seller. This allows the brand to have control over the retail price. In other words, they set the retail price. In the situation of the direct supplier relationship with Wayfair, the brand works on a wholesale pricing model. Wayfair sets the retail, the brand sets the wholesale. Now, some brands are not totally comfortable with that, so what they do is they implement a minimum advertised price, MAP pricing. This is a price that is set that says to Wayfair, you may not sell my product under that price without my permission, or not at all in some cases. So this model works really, really well because it helps the brand have consistent, have consistent pricing across all platforms, and it allows Wayfair to set a competitive retail that allows them to make their margin and allows the brand to have growth in both areas. If you have any questions about how to set your retail price or we can help you with that, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can follow, find us on rsgsales.com. You can also follow us on uh, YouTube and you can follow us or look us up on LinkedIn. I hope you're having a great day and we'll talk soon.